for Leeds, their horrendous debt, their five-match losing streak and their new chairman appointed visit to this South London Academy of prudent housekeeping. Charlton chasing Europe have Scott Parker fit again in midfield. John Fortune's next train invites Luke Young back into the back four. And up front, Sean Bartlett has a knee problem, so Jonathan Johansson holds his place, having scored the club's last three goals. Peter Reid's second lead selection is vastly different from the first. Out go Lucic, Raul Bravo, Barnby, Ocon and Wilcox, restored to what is actually a very strong-looking first eleven. Dubry, Hart, Kelly, after two months, skipper Dominic Matteo in midfield, and back on his favoured left wing, Harry Kuehl. Well, two years ago, yesterday, Leeds thumped Deportivo to reach the last four of the European Cup. Today they find themselves scrapping to stay out of the bottom four of the Premiership. How times change. Paducah imparting pressure early on on uh, Richard Rufus. You won't find him complaining about his lot. It's a strong side he sends out today. Eight of these 11 that Peter Reid can select actually took on Barcelona in the Champions League only a couple of years back, met and matched them. It's Leeds with the game's first corner. Ian Hart is over it. by uh, Matteo at the near post. Franceschi, you. Went by Danny Mills. He's conceded a corner. Lost the ball beneath his feet. Jensen's corner, Rufus going up, Dubry away from him, came out to Young. Worthy enough try for a man who's never scored a senior goal. More than 140 games for Tottenham and Charlton. Now Kuehl has popped up on Leeds right, has got away from Parker and has taken on Koncheski. And has picked out Paducah. And now Smith, and Kuehl, and Leeds are ahead! Some sort of merciful relief for this club, which so needs something to smile about. Peter Reid has his first advantage as Leeds boss. And it's given him, ironically, from the centre-forward position by the man who uh, he restored to the left wing today, Harry Kuehl. And the cross came from the left with equal irony from Alan Smith. It is Harry Kuehl's 13th goal of the season, and it is one that may mean much to the ultimate salvation of Leeds. Mills to Warri Koncheski, and to deliver to the near post, where uh, Fish didn't really communicate with Kylie. So dashing to the near post. And now Kuehl, and Hot's ball in! And it was uh, Jensen who touched it towards his own goal and was uh, mightily relieved to uh, see it scraped off the line. A horrible heart in mouth moment for uh, Klaus Jensen, who was glad to see Scott Parker on the line. Kelly. Well worked in for Smith, who's gone over Rufus. It's a Leeds penalty. Alan Smith wrestling for the ball, Richard Rufus wrestling with Alan Smith. <laughs> How pleased are they? And I don't think there's much doubt about it. He scored 11 out of 14 penalties for Leeds. He missed one famously in Suwon against Spain. And now he faces a fellow Irishman in goal. It is Ian Hart who scores. And Leeds' relief is almost tangible. They're pulling away from Charlton. 
And in so doing, they may be pulling away from the bottom three or four here. It was an impeccable strike into the inside side netting. Smith wanted ahead of Rufus, and Viduka had a shot and scored terrifically well. And Leeds are turning the world on its head. 3-0 up before half-time, and this is the team that was heading down. Rufus uneasy with the bounce, Smith first to it. Viduka only needed one hit. The sun at last is out for Leeds United. Their hideous run is at an end. Mark Pituka scores at the Valley for the second year running. And Brian Kidd and Peter Reid can have a grin. Hey, boss, it didn't used to be like this, you know. Welcome on board. Mervyn Day must find this uh, particularly hard to take on board. They have played on the other side of this fixture, of course. Uh, Alan Kirbishley, fourth shot. Mervyn Day kept going for Leeds on this ground a few times. Here's Parker. He's got over Radaby and uh, Charlton have a penalty. Well, Lucas Radaby is uh, adamant that he did nothing more than stand his ground. Parker's burst into the box off while well, Radaby took him out. Jason Ewell prepares to hit the spot kick to give Charlton some hope. He has done just that, it's 3-1, and there's a minute to play before half-time. Robinson went in the wrong direction. Jason Ewell filled the gap. Viduka. Away from Rufus. Seeking out Kuehl, but it was read by Young, and then lost by Rufus, and here's Viduka, Koncheski got back and Kylie gathered. Spence, Parker. Through for uh, Ewell. And Ewell for Parker, and what a save from Robinson! Really outstanding reflexes and elasticity from uh, Leeds, excellent young goalkeeper. Well worked by Yule, instinctively hit by Parker, and terrifically well turned over by Paul Robinson. Smith. Taking on Rufus and feeding Viduka, who scores! Renewed comfort for Leeds. Via another instinctive hit from Mark Viduka. Four goals away from home. From a team that was so scared it would end the afternoon. Four places from the bottom of the Premiership. That looks unlikely now. Beautifully deft finish from Viduka. And leads are clear again. Svensson. Koncheski. Too far in advance of Yule. Just uh, a reminder that uh, Charlton haven't quite given this up yet. There's plenty of time left in the game. Went over on the Youngster challenge, and it is another penalty to Leeds. Their second, the match is third. And again, uh, Alan Smith was the relevant 
Leeds player. Rufus wasn't uh, the fouler. Yog is the accused. There seem to be somewhat less in this one, though again there was contact. Ian Hart has uh, surrendered penalty-taking duties to the man who's on a hat-trick. Viduka, five! The afternoon that transformed Leeds United's lives. Buster nearly down and just about out. Leeds United have burst into life. And Mark Viduka has a hat-trick to celebrate as much. <laughs> She's seen the good times and the bad times. She'll remember uh, Hunter and Clark and Lorimer and Brenda and Gray and Gray and Harvey. She'll uh, also remember the last two, three, four, five, six months, which have been fairly horrendous as a, a Leeds fan. Oh, taken away from uh, Al Kalej by Kuhl. And Kuhl's gone for goal! And Leeds have half a dozen reasons to believe that they are safe. Harry Kuhl began the route. And there he is, pouncing again on defensive slackness to delight the travelling hordes. And to take Leeds out of sight. Viduka. Away from Yule. And still Mark Viduka. And now Jason Wilcox and the keeper is committed. Viduka has hit the crossbar. With Leeds' seventh goal. Apparently imminent. Jason Yule's uh, falling's worth rather opened the path to him. Jason Wilcox laid it on the plate and he spurned it. Rags to riches under reading. Another improbable twist in the warped tale of the unexpected that is Leeds United season. Mark Viduka's hat trick makes him the headline act. The last time Leeds scored six away from home, they went on to win the title. That was 11 years ago. It ain't going to happen this time, but they probably at least will be safe. Charlton won, Leeds six. From the first minute, our closing down it was fantastic. I've got to say that uh, the players were very, very hard, and then some of the football they played was outstanding. And it's always nice when you finish uh, moves off. I thought uh, these are, the players deserve a, a lot of credit. They've done fantastically well today. I've been with the club 12 years, and uh, you know, whenever I've had a bad time, I've defended the players. But I don't think I can today. All of us are in it. Uh, it was just an unbelievably bad performance. What difference has, has Peter Reid made to you? Yeah, I mean he's he's just uh, you know great. He's got great passion for the game and uh, and for our team and uh, you know he 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 tries to get the most out of every player and uh, as you could see today, I mean, I think we looked like the old leads of a couple of years ago. Extraordinary win, wasn't it? What was the difference, do you think? Well, I know they scored six goals and they did play very well, but Peter Reid was right. They worked really, really hard and defended well as well. Mm -hmm. But for me, the, the big difference today, Des, was uh, their big three. The big three players played very well. Smith, Viduka and, and Kuhl were at the top of their game and were on the top of their game.